Earlier this year, I had a consultation with a potential new student and she told me that she'd been working on the same piece for months and she felt like she just wasn't seeing progress. So when I asked her why she thought that might be, she told me that she thinks it must be that she's not practicing enough. So maybe you've also experienced this. You work so hard and you're still not able to finish your pieces and be confident to play them. So when your friends ask you to play the harp, you feel like you don't have anything that you can play for them. And this can be so frustrating. You end up feeling stuck and wondering what's wrong with you. Hello everyone, I'm Christy Lynn, and today we're going to be looking at why your pieces are never finished and what you can do about it. If you would like more of these harp related videos every Thursday, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a video. Okay, so let's get into why it could be that your pieces are never finished. If you're struggling to play your pieces fluently no matter how easy they are, then it could be that you don't have good basic technique. It's helpful for every harpist to go through a method book where you have a roadmap of learning step by step through all the basic technique and building on each concept as you go along. Now, I, there's a lot of different books like this that I recommend Pamela, Pamela Bruner, Learn to Play the Harp Beautifully, book one. That's the one I use with all my students. So have you used a method book? Maybe you can put down in the comments which book you've used because I'd love to know what people are working on. If you find that whenever you get to a difficult part of the piece you just stop, then there could be a few different reasons for that too. Maybe it's that you don't have helpful practice strategies. So the student that I mentioned, she told me that she was mostly just practicing by going from the beginning of the piece through to the end, just playing it through. And there are a lot of other more helpful strat practice strategies that you can put in place. So if you'd like to hear more about that, then just let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video dedicated to looking at different practice strategies. Another reason could be that maybe the piece is too difficult for you and maybe it's not written for the harp. So it can be a little difficult to find easy harp pieces that sound really beautiful. But recently I've been recommending to my students a lovely book also by Pamela Bruner called um, Performance Gems. Those are lovely. And I've also been writing a lot of beginner harp music myself and focusing on making it easy to play, but then to sound really beautiful, kind of be a good payoff for the amount of practice that you put in. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure that you've tried Sailing on a Lake. That's in one of my videos that I'll link up there. I gave a little tutorial on it. And you can also find that free on my website. And there's also other harp music available there, some beginner easy pieces. And I've been putting up these pieces for my patrons every month as part of a sheet music club. So if you would like to have a, an easy harp piece sent to you every month, then maybe you'd be interested in joining that sheet music club over on Patreon. So people often think that their pieces are never finished because they don't put enough time into practicing. And sometimes that's true, but I've found that often people try to put a lot of time into practicing by practicing for too long on one day, like maybe two, three or four hours when you just don't have the stamina for that. And then you're so exhausted by that that you don't play again for another two weeks. I do not recommend doing it that way. Rather put in shorter practice sessions, even if it's 10, 15 minutes, and then be able to do it multiple times a week. And it's more important in that way to put in consistent practice than to have extremely long practice sessions once off. Sometimes the main reason your pieces are never finished is because you don't have a goal or a deadline. You don't have a place to share or a particular plan to perform. And that would be the reason to finish your pieces. So if this is the case for you, I would suggest that you sit down and make a really specific goal that seems just challenging enough to be a little bit scary and put you outside of your comfort zone, but that still feels achievable. So I've got a video where I talked about different ideas on places to perform. So I'll link that up in the cards and you can go there and get some suggestions and write down a date, make plans, choose something really specific. <laughs> For some of us, the reason that we don't finish our pieces could simply be because we don't feel supported and encouraged. So if that's the case for you and you're kind of feeling alone, a little bit isolated, you can really ask for support, maybe from your family and friends, share your struggles with them about learning the harp and ask them to encourage you. 
Another place could be from other harpists. Maybe you have a local harp circle and that can be a wonderful place for harpists to connect, to talk about what they're going through, make suggestions and give advice and then also to support each other as they perform. That can be a really encouraging environment to perform for each other. So if you don't have a local harp circle, we're in this together, I don't have one either. So instead, I created a virtual harp circle and that has been absolutely fantastic. Once a month, we have a live video chat and I've been connecting with other harpists all around the world. And we've been talking about different harp related topics, giving each other advice, sharing resources. And then we even have an opportunity to perform for each other. And everyone is so encouraging. When we finished performing, then we all give each other a clap. And it's just been a wonderful experience. Some people have told me that it has really made a difference to them to be able to connect with like-minded people around the world. So if that sounds like something that you would like to be a part of, then go and have a look over on my Patreon page. I'll put a link up there. and that's where we've been sharing my virtual harp circle. So go and check out the details and see if that's something that you would like to be a part of. So in conclusion, I think I've given quite a few different suggestions. And I think if you put these things into practice, you will see the results. So that student that I mentioned in the beginning of the video who felt like she just wasn't seeing progress and was working on the same piece for a really long time, she changed her practice strategy and we worked together to choose easier pieces that were really beautiful. She started practicing more consistently. And now a few months later, she's in a completely different place to where she was before after just a few months. So that's a wonderful success story for you. And I think the same thing can happen to, for you. So just remember, it's not just about discipline. There's so many possible reasons why your pieces aren't finished. And let me know in the comments if you think any of these suggestions have been helpful or if you have other suggestions. Maybe you've experienced something a little different and your breakthrough came from other reasons. Now, if you think this video would be helpful for one of your harp friends, then share this video with them. I think it can really help more people. And then also make sure that you subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification icon because then you'll be notified every time I put up a new video and I put up a new video every Thursday. So I'll see you again next week Thursday. Bye!